I just don't get it. Mr. Gannon, you're the DA, okay? It's your job to prosecute. What difference does it make to you if he goes to jail for a month or a year? Maybe it's because I've got a daughter just about your age. You know, maybe it's because I see some of me and Jason. You know, there was a time when someone reached out to me when I was just about to make a wrong turn. It made all the difference in my life. Let's just call it payback, huh? And why should I trust you? Well, Leanne, no one's twisting your arm. Then again, what's the alternative? Put her on. What's wrong, Nora? Why does something have to be wrong? You called. Why? I just wanted to ask you a question. What are you doing to our daughter? Nora. I'm not doing a thing to our daughter. You didn't talk her into staying there in Landview with you when she should be here in Chicago getting a real education? Look, excuse me. Rachel can get a real education right here at Landview University if that's what she wanted. Do you hear me, Nora? Now, look, I already told you that it was her idea to stay, not mine. I'm getting another phone call. I'm putting you on hold. Nora, don't put me on hold. insisting that I even wanted her to stay here. Look, I have already said to you... Okay. But if it's not you keeping her there, then what is? Hank? Look, did it ever occur to you that she might want to just get to know her old man a little better? Oh, Hank, you've always been a lousy liar. Something's going on. And if you don't tell me, I might just have to take a small detour to Landview and find out for myself. Nora, you don't want to do that. Nora! Nora! Damn. <clears throat> Mrs. Gannon, mm. your prescription will be ready very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, I really do appreciate this. So, you are Rachel's mother, huh? Do I know you? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, we have never met. Oh, but you, you know of me? Yes, um, I'm Sheila Price. Let me guess. A friend of Hank's? Or should I say a friend of Hank's? I'm a friend of Hank's, and I'm also a friend of your daughter, Rachel. Well, any pal of Hank's is a pal of mine. <laughs> but to be brutally honest, I wouldn't trade places with you for all the tea, rice, and fortune cookies in China. That's honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your headache better? No, it's still there. Maybe you could help me with another problem. My daughter. Can you tell me where I might find Rachel? I want to see her as soon as possible. That's why I'm here. So, Mr. Gannon, how do you rate yourself on this one? Scale one to ten. I don't rate myself, you can, and this is not a diving contest. Ninety days? For stealing my son? You call that a punishment? You ever spend ninety days in a joint, Kevin? Or are you just too busy playing polo? I'd say it's plenty of punishment. Enough to ruin a young man's record. And I'd say that it's I don't not. give a flying flea what you say. Since when does the law have to bend to Kevin Buchanan's interpretation of oh, it, huh? Excuse me, but I hey, think whoa, you just whoa, bend whoa. the Listen law. Hey, whoa, listen to the two of you. Haven't we had enough for today? Why can't you just stop? Okay, all right. You are right. It's all over. Ms. Gannon, in, uh, in light of your valiant services, would you do me the honor of coming home with me tonight? We're having a little celebration. A celebration? Yes, Gannon. A celebration. Just for the family. Well, you know you got a point, Asa. It is a great night to stick with family. You'll be coming home with me. Hank, still bossing people around? Hi, Rachel. Mom, what are you doing here? Nora Gannon, what the hell are you doing here? I'm here because you're here, Rachel. In order to be in Chicago starting classes. Can we talk about this somewhere else, like in private? Take a good look, Kevin. 
this is the moment you've been waiting for, isn't it? Oh, excuse us. We have to take this boy to a celebration. Sounds festive. Just for the family. Need I remind you you're not part of the family anymore, Renee? No, Ethan. No, you don't need to remind me. Kevin, you're smart. That Leanne will never see your baby again. She is Duke's mother. She was his mother. You'll find a new one. What's the matter with you, boy? Ponytail's gonna be behind bars. Leanne is out of the picture. There's a beautiful little boy waiting for you to come home. What's so bad, huh? Migraines, Nora? Yes. Now, Rachel, there's nothing more to say. You and I are going back to Chicago. Unless she wants to stay with me in Landview. That's not the way our arrangement works, Hank. Maybe she wants to try something new. Oh, she does. All right, that's it. Time out. Now, does anyone care what I happen to think about all this? I mean, it is my life we're talking about. I know that. Kim. Oh, do you? You've been playing this knockdown, drag out Gannon versus Gannon game so long, I think you've lost track of what's at stake here. Who's the football? Me. And I'm sick and tired of being fought over. Now, if I decide to stay here and go to Landview University, I don't have to ask your permission. It's my business. Who's footing the bill for this, this brave new decision, choices that you are making all on your own, hmm? We are. So what you do is our business, too. So you mean you're willing to pay for her as long as she does what you want her to do? I want her to finish what she started, Hank. She's enrolled at Northwestern and then on a whim. A whim, as far as I can tell, that you planted. Oh, in other words, I don't have a mind of my own? In other words, something has suddenly brought about this sudden change. Something that maybe you or your father have not mentioned so far? Oh, like what? Well, I don't know. Do you think it would be possible for you two to find another place to celebrate? Well, this is Wanda's place. Oh, you remember Wanda, don't you? She's a lady whose nephew you just railroaded and sent him to jail. And was it your idea to get your good friend Kevin to use a restraining order on me so now I can't even get within 50 feet of my own son? I'm sorry I, I blew up at you guys. Uh, I just thought that you must have had something to do with it. Is that the restraining order that Kevin got? This just can't be legal. I mean, can it, Mr. Gannon? I'm not to stay 50 feet away from my own son. Well, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a torture device or something. I can see him. I can look at him, but I can't touch him. I didn't know Kevin was going to do this. Neither did I. Well, is it legal? Well, yes, unfortunately. Look, I don't think Kevin needed it, but I understand why the judge granted it. Why? Leanne. You did run off with the baby once. Well, that's because Kevin was trying to take him away from me. Yes, I know. I know. And if he'd only considered joint custody from the beginning... Maybe Kevin will have a change of heart. Yeah. With any luck, Jason will be out in just a few weeks. He'll be out for good. Look, I know he could have been uh, facing a much longer sentence if you hadn't helped. I know. Well, I did what I could. All right, look, I, I apologize again, okay? I know, I know that you guys had nothing to do with this. It's your buddy Kevin that I have to thank for everything. Who is this spiteful Kevin person? <laughs> Kevin Buchanan. His family more or less runs this town. You ever heard of Asa Buchanan? The oil billionaire? That's the one. Kevin's his grandson. I call him Little Asa. Mm -hmm. Why is Little Asa your buddy? He's not. He's just a client for the law firm I worked at. That's all. Would your client have anything to do with your wanting to stay in Landview? Look, Kevin Buchanan was just part of my summer job. Good. Summer's over. So was your job. 
time for us to head back to Chicago. Look, are you ever going to listen to a word I say? I am not going back to Chicago. 